the shocking real meaning behind 87,000 new IRS agents. What we could have had instead, Brandon Gentile here, taxes only exist to sway public opinion and coerce people. That is it. We know from the elite's own mouths that they don't really need to actually tax us since they control the currency printer. And the American Revolution was really started in 1773, the Boston Tea Party, a tax revolt. We were largely a tax-free nation, a tax-free country. Out of most conflicts, uh, there were some foreign entanglements we were in. Uh, a lot of it was on American soil. There are, were some things like the Battle of Tripoli. Uh, I believe when Jefferson was a president around that time, early 1800s, in the Mediterranean, things like that. There were some, but not like there is today. The constant entanglements, the empires, we really are... Uh, as Jesus said, give to Caesar what is Caesar's. We have military bases, empires, as Ron Paul says, all over the, all over the world. This empire has bases everywhere. And it's just like the, the Romans had. They had Pilate. They had people governing Romans, governing all the heirs of their empire. And you had to pay Caesar. And that's pretty much what it is nowadays. We're actually going to do an article about this in the future as to you know the euro dollar, things I've been learning about the last couple of years. And the, the when the interest rates are going up and down, how it affects why Sri Lanka is collapsing and all these other currencies and all these other countries are collapsing. It's like a variable interest rate on your home. When our dollar power go, strength goes up and their, everyone else's currencies go down, it's like a variable rate. It's like you know, one week it's 5%, the next week it's 6 and then 8 and then 10 and then 12 4, 14%. It, the rate just keeps moving up and you're paying back in these in these uh, more expensive dollars that you don't have. And that's why they're collapsing. So this is why th these things are happening. And again, these aren't things aren't taught in school. And none of us are taught these things growing up. This is why they're so important and why it's so important to you. Uh, because we pay the price for these things. Our, our kids pay the price for these things. And this is the most damning evidence. This is the latest thing. The, the FBI raid is just a diversion. This is just to, one, try to get Trump to not run again, to intimidate, to set an example, two, to your justice system, but also uh, to just distract from what's going on, which is, you know, just like we've had the post and blog before about uh, Afghanistan. Immediately after that, uh, such a black eye, uh, just like Vietnam all over again. And all of a sudden we're mandating, you know, the, 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 the thing, you know, that medicine stuff. We're mandating that, you know, within the next month. And now everyone's forgot about Afghanistan. So this is why it's constant diversions as to what's going on. Right here they're telling us 1946, Beardsley Rummel, chairman of the Federal Reserve of the New York, bank, uh, one of the biggest, uh, the 12 branches of the federal reserve. And he's here telling us taxes for revenue are obsolete because we can print currency. And again, I'm sharing it here. This is stuff that again, I mean, imagine if we learned this in school, so we knew what was going on. So that way we can make wealth. This is what this is all about at the end of the day. It's freedom, liberty, wealth, property, which is property at the end of the day. It's, 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 this is why I'm so passionate about this because it's your ability. It's, it's us getting off the hamster wheel. It's everyone having the ability to do what they're called to do instead of having to run on the hamster wheel every day, being taxed, their, their currency dripping out of their container every single day, and they don't know why. So they're losing their mind and they're rioting and, and hate and division in the streets and, and road rage. Uh, and it's smashing grabs and looting and all these crazy things are going on because people don't know why they're having problems. They have no idea that the, the government is the one robbing them blind. And it's the arson and the firefighter. They're creating the war on poverty, the war on drugs, all these things. And it's just a cash grab. They're just you know, climate change, uh, the IRS, all these different things, these spending bills. We're, it was, we have rampant inflation, yet we're creating more spending bills. Six, seven hundred billion dollars in spending. Where does in the world does this make sense? And then if you, if you say that that's wrong, you're you're some type of term. They call you uh, some name to stop the debate and say, and that's how they say that you're wrong, uh, and they cancel you or they uh, they defund you or something. Um, this this comes to a very bad conclusion, and, and this is why I've been making so much content about this lately because this is it's not fun. It's not like this is great, but there are ways out. There are ways to get prepared, get resilient, get independent. Uh, you know, Lynette Zhang is one of my favorite people out there. She talks about, you know, being, uh, you know, five G's that Robert Kiyosaki talks about, you know, uh, ground, ground, gas, guns, gold, and guns. I don't even, I think I just said that. I feel, I feel like a dodgeball right now, the five D's. Uh, but this is uh, ground, it was a ground, gas, uh, gold, guns, and grub. So, you know, the five G's and then just being independent, being resilient and, and really becoming the people that we need to be. So we don't need government anymore. This is insanity. The, the, the less we need government, the smaller and smaller it gets. And the reason it's bloated so much is because so much of the responsibility and, and, and accountability has been abdicated from people. So again, this right here, sharing exactly what's going on, what taxes are for, 
to express public policy and the distribution of wealth and income, uh, as in the progressive case and income and estate tax, to express public policy in subsidizing or in penalizing various industries and economic groups. And again, we've had Lois Lerner, IRS 10 years ago, targeting conservative groups. I mean, we know this. This is not debatable. You, no one can come sit here and debate me on this. None. Not one person. This is fact. This is on the stand. We have proven these things. This is insanity that we are having to go through this. And then everyone sits here and wonders why. Why are, why are my taxes going up? Why can't I get ahead? Why are food prices going up? If we don't like that, if we don't like the results, then do something. Dang it. Like, this is insanity. Absolute insanity. Freaking do something. Go vote people out who are taking your liberties away, for crying out loud. Educate yourself on the monetary system and what's going on. It really doesn't take that much work. And all of a sudden, things become clear. And we can understand how to prepare and how to safeguard ourselves against these psychopaths who are taking your livelihood from you. And again, just because 20 years ago, we, we, many people were saying this, and 10 years ago, and now, and it becomes true every single day, look around us. Just because it hasn't happened this second, your, your your livelihood hasn't been ripped away from you like it has in many other parts of the world already, whether you're a pastor in Canada and you're being arrested, thrown to the ground because you won't comply with them, just because it hasn't happened to you yet and to your liking and to what you think it might look like, you think, oh, you're a crazy person, Brandon. Well, great. I've, I've got some oceanfront property in Nebraska to sell you. But again, you, they can print currency, you say. Well, you're correct. So... The CBDC, it's coming. You you talk about that, Brandon. It can tra- tax every transaction there. So there's, you're not doing 87,000 agents just to to you know hamper you and hamper the, the small business owner. Yeah, you're right. CBDCs are coming, and they're stalling and trying to get that out. But why? Why are they doubling it then? Why? The question is, why then are they doubling the IRS, making it the largest bureaucracy in the government? Why are they telling IRS agents to be armed, re- be ready to arrest people, use deadly force? What in the world is going on? Vladimir Lenin knew, one of the greatest communist leaders of all time, killed tons and tons, millions of his own people. The way to crush the bourgeoisie is to grind them, the middle class, grind them between the millstones of taxation and inflation. Wonderful. That's awesome. Here we go uh, with the, the tax raises that will be there across all spectrums, all income classes. So again, beautiful stuff. You know, They're telling you that's not the case, but here it is. Accomplishing Marxism, the goal, this is the goal by doubling like the IRS agents. This is not like the goal. This is the goal. Accomplishing Marx's goal of destruction of the middle class, the small businesses. He wanted the proletariat. He wanted the poor to rise up because he himself was poor, couldn't figure things out, was a very angry person. He wanted the destruction of small businesses, middle class, because they are the engine, the engine of freedom. And, and families and destroying them to leave only two classes, the poor and the 1%. He thought he was going to win out at the end of the day, but he was sadly mistaken. Again, it's just a middle class, middle class cash grab and then to destroy them like all socialists do. Like the guy in Germany in the 30s did as well. He used the brown shirts and then he killed them. Useful idiots. Remember, the IRS was only created and made an amendment with the income tax right after the Federal Reserve was created in 1913. Why many have said all along that central banking, one of the tenets of Communist Manifesto is the root of all evil. This is one of the tenets of the Communist Manifesto. This is exactly what they want. Central banking, they want control of everything in your life. Do you do, do you think other people should be making every decision in your life for you? Because that's what they want. They're telling you eat bugs. They're telling you cannibalism is okay. Hey, hunger, world hunger is okay because people work harder when they're hungry. These are all things I've shared on our blog here. Literally all things. Articles from New York Times, from the UN, Google them yourself. I mean, these people are brazen. They are out and out. Again, Karl Marx himself, democracy is the road to socialism. And then socialism is the road to communism. And then communism is, is we know how that ends. Hundreds of millions of people gone in the 20th century because of communism. Things we could have done instead of destroying the middle class. Instead of 87,000 new IRS agents. Again, we could have had 87,000 armed guards in dang near every school in the country. 87,000 more border control, border patrol agents, keeping people from trafficking young boys and girls, running fentanyl to our young boys and girls, or guns across our borders. 87,000 more police officers protecting our communities. 87,000 more EMS or fire to respond to emergencies even quicker. What we could have had instead of sending $40 billion to Ukraine, so we're going on a little tangent here really quick. Who who authorized us go just spending billions and billions? Again, 
your votes matter. There are consequences to elections. People think, eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect me. No. Yeah. Here, we're going to show you how it affects you. It affects you right here. All these ways. Could have had all that. Protecting our schools, protecting our communities. Nope. Didn't want that. Could have bought 16, uh, 1.6 million Bitcoin. 1.6 million Bitcoin with $40 billion we sent to Ukraine just in the last few months. Could have bought 20 million ounces of gold or 10,000 tons of gold. That, that probably would have doubled our gold reserve. If you're a big gold person, you don't believe in Bitcoin for whatever reason. Could have bought back or eliminated $6,200 in debt, average credit card debt of an of American, for 6.5 million Americans. And maybe we did that through a random lottery or something like that. But again, and just, just to give you perspective here, 16... 1.6 million Bitcoin. I mean, just if it goes back up to its all-time high, if you have 1.6 million Bitcoin and it went back up to its all-time highs of 70,000. So that 40 billion turned into 112 billion. You know, the country just got three times richer, right? Just what if it went to, you had 1.6 million and it went to a million, just like there's many of the models that say that we've shared here that say it's going to be there in the next five or 10 years. Well, it's beautiful because that, that that gives us, what, 1.6 trillion. That, what, almost doubles or 50% of the Social Security? Social Security is going to be bankrupt. So we just, instead of taking $40 billion, we sent it off to faraway lands to go uh, murder and kill people. And that's beautiful. That's great. I don't, know, I don't know who of us that's protecting or helping. And instead... When it goes to a million, when Bitcoin goes to a million in the next 10 years, when just when Social Security and Medicaid is supposed to be failing, you could now have doubled or a 50% to 100% increase just in that $40 billion, just in that alone, just $40 billion. And again, who's to say you couldn't invest more in it? You could put 1% of the, of the treasury. You, know, you can go on and on and on and play these, these economic games. But what are we doing here? You could do the same thing with gold. You know, you could say, well, hey, you know, and there's models for that, that that's going to go to five, ten, twenty thousand dollars an ounce. Again, could have created 40,000 prizes of a million dollars each for certain inventions of breakthroughs of medicine or tech. Well, that would have been, that would have been nice. You know, in, in, incentivizing good behavior, incentivizing people to do amazing things for humanity and move humanity forward. But no, that's all right. We're sending. You know, LARP machines were sending javelins and shotguns and body armor. Awesome. That's 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 wonderful. Great. What what could we have instead of the Inflation Reduction Act? Again, we're just gonna use half of the six hundred billion dollar cost because half of it is on you know green energy, which I know people are gonna sit here and say, well, that's gonna help the earth, which I've already shown how that's not going to help and that's a scam. But we'll take the three hundred billion that's set to reduce inflation directly. We could have sent those to subsidies to energy explorers, which would have made energy even cheaper for each American. Could have given that cash to small businesses to hire 400,000 workers at $10 an hour over the course of a 35-year career. So that's paying $10 an hour for to them, to 400,000 workers for 35 years. Could have had fed 100 million people for the year, the whole year. Could have fed, fed 100 million people. So you're feeding the earth, basically, people that are hungry, going hungry, so if you we drive by billboards every day, you see commercials about people that are hungry, apparently, right? So if if that's the case and they're just, they're all over the place, one in six people or whatever it is, there you go. Fed them for a year. Get them on their feet. Away we go. They could have had spent $50,000 each for 6 million ultrasound machines to save women and children, to help them, give them care. That would have been nice. Could have spent that on mental health, screening, and treatment, $300 billion. Could have used that $300 billion to secure existing jails or build new ones. Or even treatment facilities in conjunction with the mental health rehabilitation facilities to keep people off the streets and to get good people back on the streets. The best disinfectant for darkness is light. And again, you get the example with all this. And you can think of a million examples. I would love to see what other things we could have done that you can think of instead of spending $40 billion here to Ukraine, to Ukraine and spending $300 billion here to Inflation Reduction Act when, when Biden's coming out to, uh, yesterday and saying, hey, there's no inflation, 0% inflation. But yet we just passed $700 billion. So we don't need that act now. We can repeal that, right? Again, that's not how government works. Clearly, if government is really in the business of saving lives or helping the environment or saving one child or taking care uh, of you, they could have done all those things above, which literally correlates directly to saving lives. Instead, what are they doing? 
They're making your life even harder by raising prices through inflation, printing currency, destroying industries, taxing and raiding small businesses, sending arms to Ukraine to kill other people, keeping our border unchecked and letting traffickers run wild, keeping our children exposed in gun-free school zones with no one to protect them, aiding and providing more innocent children to be killed before they are born, etc., etc. This is a culture of death, not saving lives. Let's be real. Let's be totally honest with ourselves. The government and elites want nothing to do with saving lives. That doesn't help them. That's not what they want. Bill Gates, the WF, Club of Rome, the limits to growth, they've all openly shared they want less population. Again, there's videos from the World Economic Forum. There's videos of Bill Gates on this platform talking about how we need less population. Governments are not incentivized to protect you. Only private entities are. Our founders knew this and therefore gave us structure for government that made us the strongest in the world, that made us exceptional, as de Tocqueville said. And again, here's just... Nice little chart of, you know, they say, hey, the IRS isn't coming for you, but over half of the audits from the IRS last year came from people making under $75,000. So, again, draw your own conclusions, I guess, right? The math's right there. What is government doing? Government is more worried about wokeness and creating division so they can obfuscate their problems and keep the public confused as to where the real blame lies. We will have more unrest and more chaos in society because history has shown this. This is going to happen. Please heed my warning. This is going to happen. I'm pounding the table with Tico Tuari style. Two-tier justice systems and leaders that care nothing of you but only of themselves have always ended badly, namely for those leaders. But there are a lot of us that get harmed in the crossfire. Government is prepared this time, though. They are waiting for big, big things to happen. They will then turn around and say, see, we told you it was you name whatever it is, whatever liberty or freedom they want to take away. It was guns. I told you, it's the guns. We need to take them all. Many people will blindly, like sheep, hand over their liberties, a la the last two years. Or worse yet, demonize the very people keeping their last strands of freedom for them intact and do the government's bidding. You don't have to look further than the Germans in the 1930s to see limitless examples of how this plays out. We are in for a scary time, but there is hope. You already know what fixes this. Love, kindness, empathy, faith, and separation of money and state. It doesn't have to be like this. Get involved in one local political meeting each year. Just one. One adult in one meeting each year locally. It's bottom up. It has to be bottom up. It's not top down. It's not going to be Donald Trump. It's not going to be Joe Biden. It's not going to be Kamala Harris. It's not going to be Barack Obama, George Bush. It never is. That's not how it works. Get food, water, storage, energy for at least a couple months, for at least three to six months. If you can get six months, great. Even better, then you can help other people. Get a year was worth. The last 25 years of food storage. Get Bitcoin to remove yourself from the system. Put it in a cold storage wallet, please. Get a little precious metals, gold and silver. These things are out of the system. They cannot freeze. Again, after 9-11, there's so many examples of when the banks shut down, bank holidays. When the credit and, credit and debt markets freeze up, everything will run dry. The, bank, uh, the banks will go on holiday. The ATMs will stop. The, the gases won't come out of the, of the pump anymore. We have to be prepared for this. This has happened so many times before. Vote out any politician that is promising free things to do things for you or directly taking freedoms away from its citizens. And again, one of my favorite quotes of all time is Thomas Sowell, one of my favorite people of all time. Unbelievable books. You have to read his books. One of the most common failings among honorable people is a failure to appreciate how thoroughly dishonorable some other people can be and how dangerous it is to trust them. Let me ask you this. If printing currency more spending, more infrastructure bills, and more pork barrel were the answer. Then why don't we just give every adult a billion dollars? Print it all up. Hand it out. If currency printing, inflating away to whatever amount we want is the answer, don't you think someone would have thought of that before and tried it, done it, executed on it? If government really cared or was incentivized for your well-being, what would the answers to all of these questions be? Stay strong. Please stay strong. If you like this content, please like, subscribe. Please share it with someone you think might like it as well. And I just appreciate your time, your energy, your attention. It's the most important ask we have. Thank you for coming on this journey with us. It is time for good people to stand up, to prepare, to get resilient, to get independent, to help each other with love, kindness, and empathy, faith, hope, and charity. From the like from the rosary. Please. Please. These are these are warnings. I Unfortunately, I'm able to spend a lot of time in my life reading, looking at history, monitoring history, looking back on it. And it really is a, a roadmap. It's a guide for the future. And, and we have carved out a rough path. It's a fourth turning. It kind of happens on its own sometimes, but there are ways out. We need to stand together. 
If you dislike these, please dislike it. Please share what we could do better, what we could be better at, what we got wrong. Please, always looking to grow. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. And again, please go back. We talked about the Trump raid this week, some of our last posts here. Uh, Bitcoin and El Salvador, the media, media lying about that and the effect that Bitcoin is having there, what it can do in our portfolio update and what we're doing to invest and to become independent, even more independent by the day and multiply our wealth in this chaos. And again, some of the other ones on inflation, we've done a lot on inflation and removing yourself from the system. So please, I beg you, check them out. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one.